Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Oiz, and welcome back to Regrowth. In the last episode, we were struggling to find a cure to our vampirism. Um, we were working on some other things as well, but uh, the main thing we kind of need to do today is... Uh, well, we need to convince a couple more witches to get into our coven, and in order to do that, we're going to need to get some more witches. Uh, now, last time I was looking around and discovered that uh, we didn't have enough cobalite to make the coven witches. Um, this guy is our cobalite ingot trader, but then this guy will give us the dust for 15 raw pork chops. That's not good. I did make a bunch of... Uh, pigs over here but uh yeah there's there's much better ways so what i ended up doing was i rebuilt a uh just a cobalt farm and here it is so it's very similar to how it was last time uh, i have just a timer that is honestly way too far away uh i was messing around with this for quite a while trying to figure out how to get this guy to not pick up the um gold ore actually and uh, still be able to like pick up the cobalt and all that kind of stuff so this is just how I have it uh, everything's wood except for the corners which they can reach uh, that is on great wood uh, planks just because it was something different and I have two of them instead of just one so it would go twice as fast um, now this produces quite a bit of cobalt um, it took me like a couple of hours just waiting around for this to happen. Uh, I literally just kind of came up here and walled myself in. I like the nice little viewing room that I have. I uh, put um, planks on the back so they can't reach anything else uh, through the gaps where the gold is. Plus the gold doesn't like land outside of the box. Uh, and then the big thing is the hopper hawk is floating and has mycelium on it. Uh, mycelium actually adds a delay to when it picks up stuff. So uh, that is that is how I made this. Uh, everything else is the same, just an open crate with a hopper and all that kind of fun stuff. So um, a lot simpler than the earlier design that I had, but it still works. So that's all that matters. Uh, so today we are going to be making some coven witches, and then I finally got enough woven silk so that we can uh, start finishing up the bees. So, uh, I still need to do the actual crafting of them, but I figured I'd bring you guys in for that. We need four more, so let's get started with this. So, um, not too bad. I still haven't fixed the Thawncraft stuff. I probably won't, uh, just because there's no reason to at this point. And there we go. So we have a good bit of mana. This just takes a while to like actually activate sometimes. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. But we have literally tons of mana down here. Uh, both of those pools are full, which is kind of nice. Uh, I never really intended to like make a uh, fully efficient farm for this type of stuff. But I guess if we wanted to, we probably could have. So let's just take this stack of nine drones and we'll feed it to the uh, begonia. And... That'll give us even more mana to kind of mess around with. So, I guess while we're waiting, um, one of the big quests that we're trying to do, well, what we're currently trying to do is cure ourselves of vampire, uh, being a vampire. I don't want to be a vampire anymore. Uh, but we are pretty much ready to finish this quest up, hopefully. Uh, hopefully there's not more. I don't actually know. Uh, and then we can just right-click, by the way. Um... So let's go ahead and make all of the stuff. So the armor is a pair's shirt, a pair's pants, uh, the hat, and the boots. So that should be that quest. And it is. Cool. And we're going to get the rest of the alvearies. Perfect. Um, that's what I wanted to see. So we will deal with that in a little bit. Uh, there's some other things I want to do today. Uh, hopefully we're going to get everything done up until Leonard. Um, that is kind of the plan for today's episode. It's going to be a lot of work, but uh, if, we can, if we can do... That was weird. Uh, if we can do all the stuff that we need to, then um, yeah, we'll be, we'll be good to go. 
uh, we'll have maybe like one more episode of this. So and then we can move on to another mod, mod pack. But yeah, so I want to try to get witch hunters as well to spawn. And we have those vampiric poppets. Those are fine. But let's try um, kind of upping the ante, and we're going to end up making another set of poppets. Um, but this time we're going to do something different. Uh, it's still a dark, dark magic is what it's considered. So it will still hopefully work to summon um, witch hunters and all that kind of stuff. But it's going to be a little bit different. So can we make some poppets? Um, just normal poppets. We need the Spanish moss and bone needles. All right, we're going to make like 10. Let's just make a bunch of bone needles. And we're going to want another poppet shelf as well. Uh, green wool. can make that no problem. And uh, a tune stones. Can I make four of these? I certainly can. This guy's done. And one last one. So, um, we just need to get our shears and go get some Spanish moss. Nothing too difficult there. Uh, so we're going to do that while we're waiting on the coven witches. Uh, it is almost day, so we're going to have to go sleep, which is a shame, but whatever. But yeah, we're going to make another poppet shelf. Uh, and uh, we're going to fill this one with... Voodoo poppets. I had to think about that for a second. I had to remember what they were called. We're gonna we're gonna try voodoo poppets. Uh, voodoo poppets are also dark magic. Um, they are really fun in multiplayer settings. Uh, in single player, they're not as fun. You have to mess with. Are we out of mana? Ooh, that's not good. Um, let's grab some more experience. And are these guys out of bread? They are. Okay. Um, we have plenty of wheat, so that's not a problem. Uh, it's just, I don't know why it's lagging, but it is. Okay. Three and a half. Three and a half. All right. And then we're going to eat a bunch of experience drops. So, um, yeah, we're going to be making voodoo poppets. Uh, now, Voodoo Poppets are pretty easy. Magic Root, Belladonna, Fermented Spider Eyes, and Exhale of the Horn one. So that's a lot simpler than uh, the Vampiric, which requires the Wool of Bat and Diamond Vapor. But it should still work pretty nicely uh, to do what we want, which is basically summon in Vampire Hunters. So let's come down here. Let's go sleep. Uh, and we're going to... Uh, we're going to get these guys as our uh, voodoo subjects. Uh, now, voodoo poppets, poppets are really fun. You can you can do a lot of really cool things with them, um, but I don't think many of the effects appear unless you're playing with other people. So it only affects like actual players. But like you can toss them around. You can throw them in water and drown them. Uh, you can I think you can even throw them in fire and burn them um but that one i'm not entirely sure because i think you lose the pop it that way but there's a bunch of different things you can do it's really cool it's really fun uh and all that kind of fun stuff so uh let's get pop it shelf and the pop it shelf has 10 slots doesn't it? two four six eight nine slots okay so we're gonna need nine poppets and we need more wool Let's just craft like a hundred. And we'll come back to that in a second. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the poppet shelf down. If we need nine, we need like a bunch of, actually don't want this here then. Um, we're gonna need a bunch of uh, Spanish moss, uh, actually that much. Never mind, exactly that much. Uh, so let's start getting the poppets. Uh, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and flint. No, it wasn't flint. What was it? String. 
Oh, we can make string. Uh, let's make a hundred of that. Ooh, maybe we can't. Can we make one? Okay, we can make a little bit. We are running out of supplies, mostly because that farm is, uh, for the most part, turned off. It keeps bugging out um, because there's no chunk loading in this mod pack. At least I don't think there is. Um, unless I put a poppet shelf over there, because I believe poppet shelves keep the chunk they're in uh, chunk loaded. But uh, yeah, they're not fun to kind of deal with. Um, the robots because when I get out of the chunk they they break um, so yeah you have to chunk load them if you want them to work well but let's go ahead and let's see we just need fermented spider eyes so we need nine of these one two three four six seven eight nine and That should be it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now we need tag lock kits. We're gonna need a few more of those, so let's get that. Uh, and cool. So let's go. Let's go ruin some villagers' days. Um, we're going to use villagers this time just because maybe the witch hunters will care a little bit more about that. Uh, and I just want to try to get the villagers, or uh, the witch hunters to spawn. And then honestly, I'll probably put the, the puppets away. And let's get you as well. Um, so all we have to do is... Oh, I accidentally got the same one. So these are bound... Yeah, the witch hunters will not like this too well. Hopefully. Um, and we can mess around with them. I don't think they work, like I said, on non-player characters. But, like, you can... I guess it does, maybe. Let's throw them, like, that way. Yeah, I guess it does. You can throw them around. I don't know if drowning and all that kind of stuff works, but uh, maybe. So if we get some witch hunters to spawn, that would be awesome. If we don't, uh, I'll figure something out for before next episode. So let's go ahead and put all these poppets down here. And they do have a durability. Uh, it is a thing. So I guess let's go ahead and start summoning in the... See, Mittens is still there. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and start summoning in uh, the Coven Witches and see what they want. <laughs> so defeat my pet. Alright, that's easy. And here we go. She's in her coven. That was easy enough. Oh, a spider. All right, well, there we go. Hey, where'd you go? Cool, there's another coven. Member, um, two more, what do you want? Oh, your coven is full. All right, let's just kill you, I guess. So I guess it's only six in a coven. I thought it was eight. But we now have a full coven. Um, six witches. So that is, I, I guess I made two more than I needed. I didn't realize that. I thought it was eight for some reason. But anyways, with that taken care of, we should be able to cure ourselves of vampirism now. Uh, what time is it? We still have a little bit of time. So let's try to do this quickly. And uh, I believe this is all the ingredients we need. We throw it in here. And I believe we right click with our coven, our seer stone. And our coven comes in and we should be able to do it this way. And I should be cured of vampirism.
or not. I am still a vampire. Hmm. Can I not cure myself? Or did it fail? I don't know how to tell. <laughs> um, so... Hmm. I might try it again after a bit, but... Yeah, I think that just failed. So, I guess let's go ahead and... Uh, I really don't want to be a vampire for the fight against Leonard. Uh, so... Uh, I might try that again in a little bit. We'll let's let's move on to something else, and that something else is let's go grab all of our alveary stuff. So we have twenty six alveary blocks. Plus we need um, a hatchery, and then we need forest bees. Uh, so this should not be too bad. Um, we need a scoop. All right, cool. Uh, we're going to need to go sleep, like, very, very soon. Um, but we need to get, for encoding the world, we need to get forest larvas. So um, by installing a hatchery in Nauberry, you can access the larva ha in the house of the house bees. Um, and, yeah, enough alveary blocks are provided. You also need slabs just nine and yeah this should work so let's go sleep real quick because uh, I believe we're still a vampire well we can find out pretty quickly if we start taking damage in the sunlight if we start smoking yep we are still a vampire <laughs> so let's go ahead and sleep um, Maybe I will try that again uh, and see if I can't get it to work. But uh, let's see. We have our alberry blocks. Let's go over to the bee area. Um, and just right here will be fine. And we will build our alberry. So this is how you build an alberry. Um, bees are not fun, to be honest. Sometimes... Uh, just because they take forever. So we'll put the hatchery right there and oak slabs. And there's our alveary. So we put these guys in. They're not going to work yet because it is night. So let's go ahead and grab a flower. They do need some sort of um, poppy. Uh, I guess would be the better way to type. Um, they need a poppy or a dandelion so they can actually um, do stuff. But it's it's night, so they're not going to do anything. And it should they should work. Uh, and this should allow us to get um, larva. So hopefully that'll work. Um, and we'll kind of we'll kind of keep an eye on it. So. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and try to get all the ingredients for the uh, the curse removal and see if we can't do that again. Um, but this time I'm going to just right click on it and see if that makes a difference. So circle magic. Um, curse obliges, curses, curses. Um... All right, so Breath of the Goddess. Breath of the Goddess. Um, silver Sword, which requires Gold Sword. Surrounded in Silver. Go ahead and make two of these. And I'm going to do this. Silver Sword. All right, so we have that. Um... Garlic Diamond Brew of Love. Diamond. Garlic. Brew of Love, which we have a bunch of. And then uh, the Tag Lock Kit. 
of ourselves. Right, six items. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alter power, 10,000. It is. So we should be able to do this. Uh, and the circle is a seven by seven, which we have. So nothing went wrong with the actual, in, in the ritual itself. Um, and I wonder if this will work or if uh, we need that coven to come here and do it. So you just uh, right click on it and they'll show up and help us out. So let's, let's just try it again. And hopefully we get a good noise instead of a bad noise. <laughs> Otherwise we can just, oh, altar has insufficient power. All right, so let's pick up our items. We'll wait for the altar to get power again. And I guess for now, let's go ahead and grab our, a couple of these poppets and just walk around with them. Um, try to, try to attract some, some witch hunters. Uh, I want to get the crossbow on my bar just in case. And yeah, come get us, uh, come get us the new witch hunters. We're an evil witch. We're terrorizing a population of villagers, and uh, I don't think it's gonna work. Um, it might work eventually, but it's gonna take a while. So let's go ahead and just super speed around for a bit, cause it's fun. Um, is that a, nope, that's a zombie. Okay, I thought it was a hobgoblin at first. So I don't see any witch hunters. Um, they spawn rarely uh, basically the, the more bad things you do the more likely they'll spawn but uh, they just kind of will randomly spawn around you and attack you uh, I'm just worried that our base is like a little too complicated um, there's too many areas they could be in that I would never know and that's the uh, that's the main concern. So, like they could be up here for all I know. And yeah, like they could just be on one of these floors looking for us. I don't know if they can climb ladders or anything like that. I think they can, but I'm not sure. Uh, I never did end up finishing my uh, irrigation system. Oh well. Um, kind of whatever. It's not something that I really care about too much. But let's go ahead and throw the villagers around. Um, did that actually do anything? Well, let's see. I don't know which one it is, so. Yep, let's throw them up. So, do something like that. Does that not work? He jumps a little bit. Ah, uh, that's funny. Okay, so we're just messing with the, the villagers with voodoo. Alright, so I guess we'll probably have enough altar power. Let's try this again. We do have a tag lock of, ourself, a tag lock of ourselves. Uh, don't know what a tag lock is. That sounds weird. Uh, so let's just throw these in here. And right click with the seer stone. To get our coven to help and come on give me the vampirism I don't want to be a vampire anymore I want to actually be able to sleep it worked we are no longer a vampire um so I can go sleep in a normal bed I can eat actual food again and it worked awesome that was really important actually um, and the reason why is because now we can go back and sleep in our wonderful bed um, we can summon Leonard in and actually fight him during the day. We can go out and look at the sun. It's a wonderful time. I, I really despise being a vampire. Uh, that is probably my least favorite thing of witchery. Um, being a vampire while you are very powerful really, really stinks. Um, I've heard that werewolf is a little bit better, uh, just because of kind of, oh, hey, we have forest larvae. Uh, just because of how, like, 
um, just like how it kind of uh, treats you. You don't have you have you know strong weaknesses to like. Um, oh, you have a strong weakness to silver, but uh, it's not that bad. Um, whereas vampires, you know, you can't go out during the day. You have to constantly be sleeping. Um, you you can only do things at night, and that's not really good when we're trying to work with bees. So we have the forest larva, and now we need serum. So empty serum vial and empty serum array. All right, let's start looking into this, and maybe we'll finish the bee stuff today. So empty serum. So that requires nine of those, and that's pretty easy. Okay. So let's go ahead and shut our doors, just in case we do get witch hunters. Uh, I don't want to get attacked while I'm crafting. All right, so something like this. We need nine of these. And we need more glass. Panes. Let's go ahead and craft like 40 of those. Alright, so there is the empty serum vials. I don't know what this is. Once you have your larva, you'll need to produce your actual genetic serums to apply to it. Done by taking serum vials and clicking the gene you want. And the gene... Okay. Um, and then serum arrays are one gene of every classification. That's kind of cool. Uh, so I've never really gotten into the genetic stuff. Uh, it's... I don't know. I've never actually used the mod inoculation so we need the inoculator and the splicer all right we should be able to make these pretty quickly and the splicer um but i've never really used the genetic mod because uh gentistry is just so much easier and honestly better uh than a lot of the more realistic b stuff so what do we need we need a reinforced casing we need sturdy casings so we need uh bronze Let's go ahead and take 16 because I'm going to imagine that the other one also requires a sturdy casing. It requires a much... Wow, integrated circuit boards. So we're going to need a lot of enhanced circuit boards. Let's go ahead and tell the system to make a bunch of those. So make like 20 of those. That shouldn't take too long, but it will take a little bit. Um... And go ahead and make both of them. <laughs> so the inoculator, we're going to need bronze gear. That's not bad. We're going to need bronze gear. Yeah, most of this isn't too bad. What's the... Oh, wow. We're going to need probably more enhanced circuits than that. Um, circuits. Let's go ahead and make 20 more. Um, do we know how to make bronze? New. No. So we need copper, and we need tin, and guess a little bit more copper, and we'll just take some of this stuff and throw it in here, and that should work. Get out of there. Um, hey, we're actually hungry. We can eat food. Uh, so... Do we have any bronze in here? We might actually have some more bronze. No, just impure titanium. I realize that's off. We just put like we have molten man uh, manulin, so we need we have 12 ingots in there. We need an ingot cast to get 3 ingots. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually do it this way for right now. And turn that on for a second. And that will get us our manulin block. Alright, cool. So, I don't remember why we had all that manual. I think we are making, um, things. But, uh, let's go ahead... We need more bronze. That's that's going to take a bit. And...
does it take from the back? Just do something like this. Because we don't want that full of copper. Um, so, let's go ahead and start working on all this other stuff. So we need one of these guys. We need two of these guys. Then we're going to need like a bunch of them. <laughs> uh, so we'll make... We just need a bronze gear. We don't have enough bronze. Alright, so we need to turn this guy into one of these. And we need two of these. Uh, so... Is our system still making stuff? It is. Let's see, we're going to need more of these. So we're going to need one, two, and one. Two. All right, we're going to need more. Because we still need to make this guy. Uh, so we just need to wait on some bronze. That should not take too long. We already have some. We can get a block or so of it. This will make the gears. Oh my god, get out of the way. <laughs> I really despise the witches. Uh, so, that should be enough. We're going to need uh, seven more of the, the circuits, I think, in total. So we need six more of these. So let's just make six. Takes two blocks of bronze to make that. But we can flick this on for a second and get the rest for what we need for the uh, gears and we should be good to make this stuff. Uh, now I don't know how much of the this it's going to want us to actually like do but um, hopefully not much. So we need two gears and this should not be a problem. One, two. Alright, so the inoculator Um, wait, does that use the... Oh, it does use the reinforced casing. Alright, so do that. There is the inoculator. And then the splicer requires just one more of these. So we need more lapis. Which is easy enough. We just craft it. And that's fine. Cool. So, can we make this guy now? It looks like we can. Um, so there is the splicer. Those are really expensive. Uh, and that is, that is it. So let's claim the reward. We're going to get more B stuff. But more importantly, that is completed. So literally all we have to do, uh, we have two quests left. Uh, we have to kill the witch hunters and we have to kill... Leonard. <sighs> that is going to be fun. Um, so, yeah, I guess um, what I will do is I will wait around and uh, try to get some witch hunters to spawn. Um, see if anything happens with that. Um, but then what we'll do is next episode... Um, we're going to summon Leonard and we're going to try to get prepared. I'm going to get prepared for him. So I'm going to make a bunch of uh, Demon Bane potions uh, and some other potions. Uh, most of it's going to be pretty pretty standard. Uh, we're going to want, I believe, potions of harming. Um, but we're going to do it the Witch's Brew way. Uh, so that's going to be like, uh, let's see, modifiers? No. Um, effects. So I believe it's like a low level effect is it um new uh level two poison um harm so it's glistening melon and fermented spider eyes and that that's i think all we need so demon bane harm and then i think we can use our um uh, electricity and that should be everything we need to 
defeat Leonard plus our really good sword. Um, okay, I heard something and I don't know if it was me or did we happen to get uh, witch hunters. Um, I think it was our uh, tiara actually, but I'm gonna look around. Because I heard something that sounded like arrows. Just go way up and see if we see anything. I don't see anything. Uh, I still don't know how the tiara works. There's, there's things that it does that I'm not familiar with. But uh, yeah, so the plan is we're gonna. I'm gonna kind of sit around and uh, wait for the witch hunters, and then um, next time we'll summon Leonard and hopefully kill him. Uh, and that will be pretty much it for this series. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. Um, I really just didn't want to be a vampire anymore. It's it's not fun. Um, we are mortal again. We have to eat. Uh, we have to you know sleep occasionally. And all that kind of fun stuff. But it's much better than burning in the sunlight. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.